Hello friends, today we are starting a new series to learn how to solve a machine learning problem using simple step-by-step -step method. We are going to split this video into many five minutes video series. Alright, the problem statement which we are going to tackle today is predicting housing price. This is a problem statement which was uh, pre presented in the Kegel competition yeah and we will try to solve it with a few methods and also upload the solution in Kegel just for fun now before we actually start coding and you know getting overwhelmed with the syntax and libraries rather what we are going to do is first lay out a simple approach to tackle such a machine learning problem now in this project uh, we are going to use the google collab um, and and even before jumping into google collab what we are going to do is first clearly understand what the problem is so in a city called ames in iowa state of uh, united states of america um, they have collected data set of uh, several houses and along with that they have also found the sale price so it's a supervised machine learning problem and the data set includes around 79 variables okay we're going to see uh, how this uh, 79 variables helps us in predicting the sale price uh, of the house uh, but eventually we have to find out that may not be all 79 variables are equally important right okay now before we you know even start coding uh, we would like to see what the um, problem statement is uh, is that given 79 variables which covers almost every aspect of the residential homes uh, it gives us a sale price okay so that is the basic problem statement so it, there will be two part of the data set one will be the training data set on which our mo we will learn the, uh, the pattern and there will be a test data set on which we will test our model whether it is able to predict or not right and with with what I could see and stuff second thing is and very important to any machine learning problem uh, is before solving them you need to know what data do we have right and more importantly we will also try to understand what exactly does does that data tell us uh, you know about the problem so we'll just scroll down yeah and we'll just look into the uh, problem statement uh, and the data here and see what description do we have okay so it seems uh, you know we have one called 1ms subclass it basically identifies the type of dwelling right? like is it a one story two stories split into a multi-level so it seems more like a categorical data and not a numerical data okay next is the ms zoning which identifies the general zoning classification you know whether the uh, the property is like in an agricultural or commercial or industrial or is, is it a residential with high density and so on so what we are going to do before solving any machine learning problem is try to get a good grasp of the data set. All right, now that uh, you know, uh, it's a good practice to actually study each and every variable uh, of the data so that we get a clear understanding of what are we working with right uh, but typically you know from our own experience we know that whenever we go to you know purchase a house uh, what we what are the few things that we look at right we look at the overall condition we look at how big or wide the street is in front of the property right uh, we also look into what is the square feet size of the house uh, we see how many bedrooms do we need what are the sizes of those bedrooms? what is the height of the ceiling from the you know floor uh, we see do we have a balcony or not and, and there are a few basic criteria that we generally use uh, when we try you know go for purchasing a house uh, but in this case even we have more variables right almost like 79 of them all right so now that we have seen the data set 
and the problem statement so what we're going to do next is upload our files in Google Drive which can be done just by using these two lines of simple code okay so what it will do is once it completes it will give me an option to upload my training and test data set okay so we're just going to browse to my folder structure okay and I'll just press control to select both the files and upload it it also gives me uh, you know, the process the progress uh, so my test data done and similarly my training data is also being uploaded uh, in the Google Drive now in order to use uh, this two data set in uh, you know from my Google Drive Google Cola has to run you know two more lines of code so that I can access those files using a dictionary okay uh, what all it does it's you know gets me the access uh, using a dictionary uh, from the Google Drive okay so very simple very straightforward and these are the only two additional steps and in the step three uh, we are going to see first few records in the data set and you must have already seen this while using pandas library uh, we do a pd dot read underscore csv and we provide that directly the file name the only difference here is because we are using google collab is you know we are just converting that you know interest uh, string io method and reading that file from this step onwards you can see you know it's again the same standard method to see the first few lines of uh, uh, data from the you know from the from the data set using the head method so what it will do is you know it will just print out the first uh, five lines of record and in order to um, print out the test data we are going to follow the same process uh, just before that you know you must you see t1 columns which means that the 79 are the variables 80 is the sale price and 81 is this id here okay now similarly i can just uh, you know do the same activity for my test data set as well and i'll just add a new block here and paste this code change this name from train to test change this name from train to test and similarly here okay and what it is going to do is show me the first five lines of data from the test data set and here is we will see 80 columns obviously because the sale price column is missing here and that's what we need to predict all right so all right so in the next series uh, we are going to you know draw a flow diagram prepare a simple layout in order to solve uh, such machine learning problem and we will see that when we follow a simple approach uh, machine learning problems are actually not very challenging or grueling right uh, so till then uh, have a great day and tomorrow we will pick up the part two of this video series take care